this video, we're going to take you through your ZTE modem configured for fiber to the node or fiber to the building. First thing you're going to need is one of these. Connect your modem using a DSL telephone cable to the main DSL socket or NBN telephone socket of your premises. You'll do this by connecting to the DSL port on the modem. Make sure it's plugged into the wall and the power is on. You should see a solid green light for the power icon. Underneath the modem is the SSID or Wi-Fi password. Use this to locate the Wi-Fi name on your computer and then join the network. Now, don't worry. When you successfully join the network, it will say no internet secured. This is because we haven't configured or set it up yet. If the ZTE modem is provided by Superloop, it's auto configured and should connect to the internet. If it's from elsewhere, the below is what you'll need to do. Open the internet browser on your computer or phone and type in 192.168.20.1. You can also check the bottom of your modem for the correct IP address if that doesn't work. You'll be prompted for a username and password. Ready for it? Username in lowercase, admin. Password is haikui underscore v2. Capital H, lowercase a i k u i, underscore, capital V, and then the number two. Once logged in, click on WAN settings. You should then select the DSL tab and Superloop VDSL. Click on the bin icon to delete the current configuration. Click on create new item. Enter Superloop underscore VDSL for connection name. IP version IPv4 slash V6. Click apply once done. Your modem should go online within two to four minutes. Please test the service once done.